Hey everybody, welcome to the Lion's Den. Uh, I'm back with a health reading for Suho. Um, this reading is basically going to be about his mental state, kind of where he's at right now. Um, I added a personality reading into it, um, as well as uh, what his guides want him to come to them about. Now, before I get started, I already, of course, shuffled and let the cards fall out and also pulled some for Suho. For Suho, interestingly enough, um, there are a lot of cards that came out for him. I mean, like his energy is very strong and overpowering. Like literally I'm like burning up, like trying to, when I was trying to get these cards for him, when I received, received his messages, like Suho has always been a bit stressful to read on because he seems to kind of have a very overwhelming type of energy with him. So um, I do have a lot of cards to go over. Um, and also a lot of you who came here for EXO may not be a little bit happy because it does seem like there are some thoughts and probably some army may not be happy about it, but there are some thoughts of BTS that I see coming through for his reading and where his mental state is right now. Okay, so that's just a little sort of heads up um, for anybody who wants to continue watching this. So let's start with his personality reading, okay? So the first card that came out for him was Pioneer. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it says, passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. And... Um, what I'm feeling like for Suho with Pioneer is basically he feels like um, him, his, more so his group and everything that they're working on, what he's working on in SM is, is sort of a new thing that he's bringing to the table. It's almost even, let's say, with his acting and everything, it's like he's he feels like he is almost not necessarily paving the way for anybody else, but paving the way for himself. So that's what I kind of feel like the pioneer doing things that never been done before. Like he's um, very, he, he takes a lot of pride in doing new things for himself. Um, poet, okay, it's talking about, it's in the light attribute. Um, so it's about expressing himself and his own way of speaking and um, talking to people. Um, so there is a, there is a part of this that is talking about, um, Suho does have a way with words, um, which is very interesting because I haven't really delved too much into EXO here. Um, and what I've basically picked up on them on readings that I've done myself personally, but Suho, um, he does have the gift of manifestation. So if Suho decides that he wants something or that he wants to do something, he's able to literally speak it into existence um, and create any opportunity that he wants uh, if he so want if he so needs it to be. And that's kind of where I feel like poet is more um, talking about. They also call him a vampire, but this is in the more shadow aspect of um, of it. So it's talking about depleting others for your own survival chronic complaining or codependency. Um, for me, I'm feeling like it's more of depleting others for his own survival. Um, Suho uh, does have tendencies to sort of shoot other people down. This is something that I've personally noticed. Um, shoot other people down sometimes in order to sort of, I don't even know if it's really to uplift himself or if it is just a sort of habit of tongue, but I have noticed that, that he does that. Um, but it is, it's just generally talking about Suho and his energy type, which is literally happening to me, is that it takes a lot of energy from um, other people. So Suho being around other people, dealing with people, talking to people, it literally, he literally takes energy from them being in their presence. 
Okay, you have to have a high tolerance to deal with Suho. Okay, so we also have Monk or Nun, um, and that came out, and it's talking about selfish devo selfless uh, devotion to devotion and single minded dedication. Okay. That is something that I very much see in Suho. Um, Suho seems to be extremely dedicated to anything that he's putting his mind to. Um, also, the monk card, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that he is Buddhist. So I thought it was interesting that that card came out. Um, but moving on, Child of Nature. This card was funny. At first, I didn't understand why Child of Nature came out. Friendships with animals and communication with nature spirits. But then as I looked closely, if you guys see the rabbit in there, and I thought, oh, okay, I get it. Don't mind my nails, guys. I have to get them done. But um, I just thought that was very interesting that that came out in his reading. Um, Suho may actually have a sort of connection to rabbits. Um, I don't know if he actually actually knows this or if it is something that he may have just picked up simply because he people have been um, attaching him to the energy or, or, or feel of a rabbit or bunny but he may actually have an actual spiritual connection to rabbits and, and bunnies um, so we also have rescuer but this is in the negative aspect of um, being a rescuer it talks about assuming um, that uh, the rescued people, people that he believes that he saved, will thank him or give him something for um, um, doing what he believes was a good deed. Okay, so it, it's talking about him liking to um, really expect people to be grateful for help and not necessarily i'm not feeling necessarily just in the aspect of a simple thank you but in a in an aspect of um wanting sort of loyalty and dedication after doing something kind for someone okay so moving on we have the gambler and this is a more of a lighter aspect it says willing to follow intuition even when others doubt you suho has he, he's powerful in the sense of um, people can put Suho in uncomfortable situations. And it can be a situation where he knows that it will be 50-50 on whether people are going to receive um, what he does well or not. But Suho is the type to take that chance. And Suho usually ends up on top after doing that. He's a gambler and he's good at what he does. Okay. And that's not just, that's not really talking to me in the sense of actual um, gambling money, but gambling uh, more of an in his image, gambling and playing with his image. And so last we have visionary. Visionary talks about the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, willing to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. And visionary to me kind of speaks more of exactly what I was talking about for Suho. Suho is a person of manifestation. Suho is able to see or um, understand what he wants and he can make that happen. So with the visionary card, to me, it just really speaks of if he's going to put his mind to it, or if you put something in front of his face as a goal, if he wants to, he's going to achieve it. All right. So moving on, I had to see what Archangel Gabriel had as advice for um, Suho. Um, or what he had to say to Suho. So it's recognition. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. So um, this starts a leaning. Energy-wise, I'm feeling like it's leaning more towards advice for him within EXO rather than him as a solo person. Um, prosperity comes as well. I like it's both because I'm feeling like he wants to be recognized for all of the effort and work that he's putting in as a solo individual, as um, Kim Soo Ho, um, Kim Jun Yeon, excuse me, um, like in the group, but as well as re wanting recognition um, as XO. Um, so we also have divine guidance. OK, so that is basically saying even I'm feeling like it's saying 
saying even though things are not necessarily going like you may have wanted them to or how you planned them or how it originally seemed like it was going to go for you, that you're being divinely guided. It's, it's spirit is saying that we're here. Things are things may not be what you wanted them to be, but we're here. We're guiding you. This is the path that you're supposed to be on. Detox time comes out and it's talking about Suho needing to take a break and he needs to separate himself from the issues that are overly stressing him right now. It's talking about um, him needing to literally cleanse his spirit, um, probably take some time and go into meditation, um, just take some time away from EXO, away from BTS, not B yeah, BTS, away from um, the award shows, away from um, feeling like he's ch being challenged because that is one of an, an overwhelming feeling that I feel from Suho a lot as well is that he's constantly feeling like he's being challenged. Okay, so, and then the last card is allow yourself to receive. And it says, open up your arms and welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending you. Um, Again, like Suho, Suho is very blessed and he has a very overwhelming and strong spiritual presence, um, an overwhelming and strong energy. Uh, Suho is, like I said before, a child of manifestation. He can manifest anything that he really wants to. Um, he can make things happen through his actions and also through his words. Um, so it's like, Spirit is saying that the gifts that you're asking for are there for you to receive. So you just have to, I feel like detox time is coming with this. Like you're going to have to cleanse all of the, um, the, the spiritual baggage and the spiritual dirt that is on him. Cause he's, he's, there's an overwhelming sense of pride that is blocking him from receiving the blessings that he wants. So in order for him as the leader of EXO, as him as Su Ho, as Kim Jong Un, um, to receive the blessings that he wants, he's going to have to cleanse his spirit, cleanse his soul. I don't know how, anything about how um, Buddhists work, but um, he needs to go do whatever it is they do. I don't know about that religion um, in order to cleanse himself. So he is able to receive what spirit is trying to give him. Okay, so before I go into things that his guides are talking about, I wanted to go into the tarot so they can fully explain what is going on with him and also why I feel like this is also related to BTS. A lot of tarot cards came out for him as well. Okay. So the top row, two of swords, the empress in reverse, three of hearts in reverse, I'm sorry, the Two of Swords, High Priestess in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Magician in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse. So Two of Swords, okay, is, to me is talking about not only decision-making, but I feel um, meditation, taking time to himself, taking time to figure out, like really sit on a decision that he needs to make before he makes it. Um, also with paired with the high priestess, um, I'm feeling like he's not, he hasn't been making, he hasn't been making the wisest choices recently. He's not connected like he used to be, like he's, like he usually is, especially spiritually. He's not connected like he used to be. Um, right now he's in a state of, utter heartbreak and upsetness, like he's upset. Um, and the magician, oh, I thought this was the emperor, I'm sorry. The magician is there saying that, again, like I keep saying that he's a child of manifestation. He has all of the tools that he has, that he needs to make his dreams come true, AKA the 10 of pentacles, which is stabilizing his group, um, stabilizing his financial situation with um, within XO, within SM. But right now with the King of Cups in reverse, he's very much in his feelings. He's too um, emotionally invested into what he's doing right now. And that is why it's, he has also the heartbreak going on. He has things that he is taking way too personally and it's blocking it's blocking a lot of the gifts that he's supposed to be receiving. We have the King of Wands in reverse, the 10 of Swords in reverse, King of Coin in reverse and Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, 
This is to me talking about Suho is sort of almost lashing out in a sense. Um, he's making these moves, especially business-wise, that he would not normally usually make, but he's making it out of sheer frustration and possibly anger and pride. Um, also with um, the Ten of Swords in reverse, let me just double check the Ten of Swords in reverse right quick. So like we're ha he's he's not he's not letting go of there's an issue that he's having and he's not wanting to let go of it. I don't I'm trying to not I, I do see it as something that is BTS related. Um but I'm also trying to not overly put them into his reading but I'm sorry, but he's a very, Suho is a very competitive person. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, um, that he's an extremely competitive man and a very prideful man. So anyone who basically gets in the way of Suho is kind of, to him, they're stepping on in dangerous territory. Like they're, they're, they, I don't really know how to explain it any deeper than that, than BTS has stepped into his territory and he is very, he's very territorial. He's very defensive. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling like there was a missed opportunity that he was, that he's very upset about. It was a missed business opportunity that he's, he's very upset about. And he's also very upset because it messed with his money. It messed with his money. And, and what I'm feeling like is Suho does not play when it comes to his money. So there was an opportunity that happened and I'm kind of feeling like them not going to the mamas. I think that was like the first award show. I'm feeling like it was that. I don't think that that was, it possibly may not have been EXO's decision, but just the company in general. Um, but the, that business situation messed with his money and he is pissed. He is very pissed. He's also very disappointed that they that there was a that opportunity was missed. That opportunity um, was not taken advantage of. Um, so yeah, that's just something that is on his mind as well. He's not happy about not going to the the first award show. Um, he it messed with his money. He's blaming that on basically everyone else. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and go to the what his guides want him to come to him about. Okay, well, the first card, loss, okay? So all of these, anything that he felt like he has lost in the process of... Um, in the in the um, time span of the month of December, and and whatever may be coming in January, they're saying that anything that you feel like you have lost, come to us about it. Life force, like I was saying before, I feel like Suho needs to go back and do some possible meditation, or anything that really goes back into. Uh, yeah, okay. So solid. If you see solitude, is next. Okay, so I feel like. This is really about his spirituality. And I'm feeling like Suho needs to go meditate. Suho needs some time alone. Suho needs some time to reconnect with spirit because he has a very strong connection to it and he's a very powerful person. But he's going to need to disconnect himself emotionally from the situations that are really kind of throwing his throwing him, him off balance. Um, creativity. I think with what he wants to do in life and the upcoming um, activities that he may want to try out as he's gone into drama and acting and things like that, Spirit is telling them him to come to them on that, um, especially probably after he takes some time for himself. Um, again, competition, which is why the mention of previous groups were in here. Suho is extremely competitive. He is extremely competitive. 
Um, and the spirits are saying that he needs to con he needs to work on that. He needs to come to them about being so competitive, being so aggressively competitive. Um, he's there's denial going on. So he may be denying that he may not be as um emotionally invested in competition, um, emotionally invested in not winning, not um, participating in emotionally invested in feeling like he's been wronged or betrayed. Um, Spirit is saying that he's going to need to, he's really going to need to take some time and come to them on that, meditate, do whatever it is that Buddhists do. Um, deceit, okay? If he feels like he's been deceived by someone, something, um, that is something that they want him to come to them about priorities. Okay. Again, straightening out where he places his energy. Um, if he's going to uh, place it in competition, if he's going to place it in pride, if he's going to place it in anything else, his priorities are not straight. His priorities are not straight. The spirit is like, okay, you need to, you need to come take a step back, come talk to us and get this figured out because you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Self-control. Like, I said, Suho is an extremely prideful person. He is an extremely competitive person. This is just coming off of the energy that I feel from him. Um, and there, there is, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling a type of rage. I don't know if he's an angry person, guys. You would literally have to tell me that. I don't know too much about Suho. Um, but there is um, a part of him that that has this built up, um, this built up anger, a built up sort of up just displeasure, okay. And spirit is saying, okay, you need to work on they, these are these are things you need to work on. You need to work on controlling yourself. You need to work on calming down. And again, if you can see and self control, this person is in the meditation position, just sitting down and meditating. So again, it's something that the spirits are strongly suggesting that he does is sit down and meditate. And last um, is family. He needs to go home. <laughs> he needs to go home. <laughs> and so it's either straight up going home to his family or um, maybe reconnecting with the rest of XO. But I really definitely feel like it's his, his actual family. He needs to go home to his actual family. Okay. This is actually, I'm trying to keep this under 25, but that usually doesn't happen. Well, it usually does happen, but with Suho, he's just taking up a lot of cards. So I'm going to try to still make it under 30 minutes. Okay. So this is the grace deck. I'm going to do self-care first. So I'm going to ask how Suho should take care of himself, what he can do to better take care of himself right now. What are things, spirit, what are things that he can do to take care of himself right now? What do we have? What can we get for Suho? I'm burning up. Okay, love. Oh wow, there. Okay. Okay, now now you see now these are all cards that I'm letting come out the deck on their own. This one flipped over. Hold on. Because I just feel like sometimes with oracle cards, it's it's best that way. I like that when they do that. So like you'll see, you'll see, um, you'll see. Um, usually, well, actually, no, you won't because I kind of cut that out in the beginning to make it short. That usually in the um, when I'm doing my oracle cards, I I let them fall out. Uh, but tarot, I actually choose them myself. I just pick out the deck, see what spirit has me pull. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a lot of cards coming out of here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, starting off with the self-care cards. The first card that came out with what Suho needs for himself is love. Let your love become a powerful force of change. So instead of battling things with more so an aggressive and competitive side of self, um, instead just show compassion and more love and appreciation to other people, the people around you, um, and you'll be able to receive that. Okay, priorities, which is something that keeps coming up in his reading. He needs to really sort out his priorities. It says, uh, get your priorities straight. When you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. Independence, okay, it says decide for yourself, exercise your right to choose, which is something that I was saying in the beginning of his tower reading, that there's something that he's probably trying to decide on. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but, you know, he may need to make some decisions coming um, soon. Um, pleasure. Do something just for fun. Pleasure is one of life's essential nutrients. Suho is very, very um, stressed and kind of pent up. He needs an energy release. So pleasure is definitely something that he's going to need. We have rest. Okay. Rest. He needs to sleep. That speaks for itself. <laughs> he needs to take a break. And we also have gratitude talking about saying thank you and experiencing the joy of acknowledging others. Okay. I think that's, that's very important too. And so lastly, from our grace deck, in order to carry himself more gracefully, the first card says mirror. Okay. And what I feel like from mirror is really to be able to see um, in other people, literally see in other people what you see in yourself, see um, other people's uh, stress and other people's work and other people's experiences also as something, or your experiences as something that other people have experienced as well. Or maybe take a good look on the inside and really see if you're the if if you're really acting the way that you want to act or being the person that you are you used to be. If you've strayed away from the path that you were on and that the path that you want to be on. Once again, gratitude comes out for him. It says, "Be thankful. A graceful, a grateful heart is like." a magnet drawing toward it wealth and abundance. So even with Suho, I'm being very upset about um, missing opportunities, messing with his money. Both decks, we're seeing, we're seeing gratitude, okay? We're seeing gratitude. They're saying he needs to be very thankful and grateful for a lot of things that are happening for him um, because they're happening for a reason, okay? Surrender, okay? It says surrender is the key to unlocking the doors of grace. So maybe I feel like surrender is really talking about accepting um, accepting something that may have happened. Um, if he feels a type of way, maybe if he just needs to accept something within himself or around him or within his group, within his company, um, there's a time for him to really just let go and release control of things because you can't control everything. You can't control everything that happens to you, okay? Partnership, okay? So I feel like partnership um, is possibly talking about probably getting on better terms with his group members, um, probably making more friends, um, that's what I'm kind of getting from partnership, just kind of getting a better understanding, a better um, relationship with them, with the people around you. Um, surprise, keep an open mind. The influence of grace is often found in unexpected places. So surprise is coming out to say that there's going to be a surprising um, result to these slight sort of energy changes, these slight uh Probably like if he decides to change a little thing up and not be so not be so concerned with competition, not be so concerned with his money, um, that he'll see a lot of positive changes in his life. OK, beauty. It just says uh, surround yourself with simple pleasures of uh, simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. So basically just pamper yourself. Okay, Tuho needs to take some time, spend some time with himself, pamper himself, let himself feel beautiful. Um, 
and and relax because he's very stressed. He has a very tight, uptight, and um, uh, hot energy, very physically hot energy. But um, that's all I have for you guys today. This is literally a 30-minute video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and until next time, bye-bye.